This is an evaluation of the water management of the front cowl area of the Fisker Ocean. The water spills over somehow from the front cowling and ends up on this support rail right here. You can see uh, there's a little depression in it, almost like a little aqueduct that flows from the cowl area. I've placed a barrier here and it seems pretty effective in keeping water flowing down there. You don't uh, see this too well because it's dark, but there's definitely no water staining and I found no evidence of water uh, dripping off into the right uh, front fender region since placing that barrier. The real question is, how does the water get to the spot that it doesn't flow down um, into the existing drainage pathway? And we're gonna look at that in this video. Of note, this problem uh, has recently been documented to occur on the left side as well. Frame support rail is a little bit shorter on this side, but it still has that depression in it and the water can flow down this and end up on the charging system cabling right in there and probably causes problems as it flows down those cables. So there's some speculation that the water is not flowing out of this small hole here down into the pre-existing drain. I'm fairly certain that heavy downflows uh, overflow this area of the cow, but there's more holes. I mean, that's not the only hole. And what happens is this water all spills down uh, under the cowl in this area and then off to the side. It's fairly difficult to see here, but there is a large drainage opening uh, approximately right here that the water then flows out of. Now, part of the problem is the cowl underneath, if you look, it doesn't sit flush. So water that makes it uh, to the undersurface of the cowl. I mean, you can see air right through there. Now I put a barrier where that frame support rail is um, to keep it from going into the front bumper, but it most likely spills out underneath the cowl in this area when it gets heavily uh, doused. And I, I kind of think that um, the underneath of the cowl is just simply just not a barrier. Okay, like you can see an opening right in here. Um, now, I believe the inlets for the um, HVAC system and stu some stuff under here um, also requires these areas to be open. So I'm not sure that we can really like block these openings in here. So water may still spill over this, but like there's no real logical way to stop that from occurring. I don't think it's a good idea. The right side of the car has this supplemental opening that I was talking about, and I think that's probably draining at least as much as the one that's off in the corner of the cowl on the far right side. Now the cowl, you know, has the main drainage over here, but in this secondary spillover area here, and there is weather stripping that comes from the factory that does meet uh, the hood, there is another drain opening right here. So some have suggested placing additional um, like foam or some sort of weather stripping in this area to keep the water from spilling in. As near as I can tell, you can't effectively block off this slot right here because that's where uh, when the hood opens and closes, that portion goes down into there. There's really no way you can effectively block that area off. So if you look carefully at the undersurface of the cowl, there's some foam uh, barrier here. Um, and it's pretty obvious that they did try to separate the cowl from the underlying body, probably to prevent water from coming through. But if you look, there's some gaps in that sealer foam right there. All right, this test is just water flowing directly over the water, uh, the washer fluid reservoir. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't go over uh, the lip of the cowl that I'm talking about so water is not flowing over that. Let's see what happens here. 
So there's very obviously water running down into the center depression here. I'm going to show the video here. Water is flowing. This is from the side over in there. Now, some had suggested folding this lip right here. You can see the water flowing forward right there. Uh, folding that lip over may solve the water from going forward. Um, incidentally, there is no water making it past the barrier. That is completely dry. All right, so this test is water in the front uh, reservoir. This would be similar to a situation where it overflows. And guess what? You do get some drainage that makes it out uh, here. So that's a connector, uh, the opening in a connector, and that does fall onto the engine. So um, that is a big problem right in there. So that's actually, I just pushed it down, but that's a little pop connector that has a hole in the cowling to secure it. So it definitely does leak right there. And as near as I can tell, the water that drains uh, back goes down in the existing drainage pathway. It does not overflow. So this is just a little bit of RTV silicone around that fastener and I put it into the opening that the fastener goes through so hopefully it uh, completely waterproofs the hole in the body that uh, it was dripping through where the fastener gets um, you know, inserted through this uh, anterior metal lip. Um, and hopefully that will stop the water draining. I did not block this little outlet in the back which allows the water that collects in the depression for the fastener uh, to drain into the back of the cowl. I used some existing quarter inch thick weather stripping uh, foam tape uh, that I already had to plug the openings under the cowl where the barrier um, was missing. I just inserted it with a screwdriver um, and made it flush with the um, surrounding uh, foam that was uh, sealing the cowl to the body.